Okay, welcome to Lab 5, Configuring File Server Resource Manager. <clears throat> As part of the Microsoft Official Academic Course, Administering Windows Server 2012 R2 in preparation for exam 70-411. So Lab 5 has five different exercises, and we're going to have a video for each one of these individually. And we're going to start with installing File Server Resource Manager. Now before we get started, I'm going to minimize this for just a minute. Oops. And go into my Hyper-V. And I'm going to go ahead and create a checkpoint. Again, it's always good to create a checkpoint after you've completed each exercise. This way, in case you make a mistake, you can always go back to that checkpoint. And if I open up my domain controller, you'll see I have several checkpoints. Alright, so now I'll go ahead and minimize this. <clears throat> and let's look at the first exercise. So exercise 5.1, installing a file server resource manager. During this, during this exercise, you're going to install File Server Resource Manager, or FSRM, which is used in the following exercises. The File Server Resource Manager is a suite of tools that enables you to control and manage the quantity and type of data stored on a file server. It enables you to define how much data a person can store, define what type of file a user can store on a file server, and generate reports about the file server being used. A great example of this is I once worked in a call center and some of the representatives would connect their phone to the computer they were using and store all their pictures on their machine. And what they didn't know is it really wasn't storing to their C drive, their hard drive. It was actually being stored to a remote server. Well, all those pictures started adding up and then some of them actually start bringing in videos and music files so they had something to listen to in between calls um, and it really started bogging down um, so this file server resource manager is a is a great tool to not only help monitor that situation but also kind of put limits on what they can store and how much of it they can, can store all right with that in mind let's go ahead and get started So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Server 1. And we are in Server 1, logged in as Contoso slash administrator. And we're going to go into our Server Manager and click on Manage, Add Roles and Features, and then click on Next. And next, next, and we want to add, actually we want to scroll down and expand the file and storage services. And then we want to go ahead and expand that. Now we want to select File Resource Manager, which is right here. And we'll go ahead and click on Add Features. And then Next, Next, and then Install. The total time for this exercise is 10 minutes. I don't anticipate this taking very, very long. Okay, so now we're done. And if you're following along in the lab manual, this is where you would take your next print screen. 
and then click on close. This is the end of this video and the end of this exercise. The next exercise, we're going to look at exercise 5.2, which is uh, configuring the quotas.